Alright, we're moving on to the final boss fight. It's Mikey versus the Shredder. Back at the Technodrome in present day time. Which is like, actually not present day time because this was done like, what? 17 years ago? 1992? Yeah, 17 years ago? I can hardly believe it's been that long. Alright, the final Shell Shock. Mikey versus Su uh, Shredder. I just gave it away. Okay, he's turning into Super Shredder right here. Which is another uh, another thing from the movie. Those are some big old horns. Now he has three attacks, which he will spam endlessly. There's not going to be an, a big time opening for you to get in any shots. His three attacks include a red flame where he shoots a line of flame across the floor. A blue flame, which will result in him shooting those blue arcs into the sky, which will freeze you if you come in contact with them. And then his most dangerous attack is if he turns green. If he does turn green, he will launch a green glob that will turn you into a baby mutant, into a baby turtle, and is an instant death. It is. It takes off one life, no matter how high your uh, life bar is. So, under no circumstances are you to get in the way of that attack. Best way to get him is to wait for him to turn blue and then get in front of him as quickly as you can. Try and stay close to him. There. Just like that. You can also do this with the green if you're quick enough, but again, it's risky. Because if you get hit by that blob, you're losing a life, and it's not going to be good. He moves very fast. So be very patient. Don't rush, or you're going to start getting hit needlessly. Oh gosh. See? Like that. Ah. There. And of course you've got the Statue of Liberty in the back. Oh gosh! That was close. That could have been very bad for me. See? I managed to get him. One more round of pounding on him and he should go down. Come on, give me a blue. Oh, I got too close there. And I died. Oh! I got too close again. Da! Ah, there! No, missed. Yes, got him! That should do it. And he falls off the side. Which is like looks like a looks like a bunch of lockers there. It looks like he's in the high school or something. And he just fell off the second floor or something. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Our four reptilian heroes have overcome the arch-villain Shredder. And there's Splinter. Yeah. And look at the little guy go. Yay. Alright. We did it. We beat the Super Shredder. We're good to go. Here comes the staff. Alright. Well, Raph. I don't know what he's doing, but it looks like he's about to go flying there, which would not be a good thing. I don't know how he's staying, like, on the blimp. Which, by the way, having a blimp is, is freaking awesome. I mean, I want a blimp. Where they got that thing, I don't remember, but it's awesome. Have I mentioned how awesome it is? Anyway. So yeah, this is still, this is a Japanese game, it's created in Japan, even though this is a American franchise, so. The AC Turtles team! Yay! I don't know what that says, but it's produced by Konami, so you knew it had to be good. Alright, credits have rolled, and now, for the fun part, we get to watch the cast turtles in time nice shot of New York 
the cast. Here we go. First off, the leader, Leonardo. And the star of this LP, Michelangelo. The techie of the group, Donatello. And of course, who could leave out? Raphael. And of course, we got April O'Neil and Splinter, who did basically nothing. And all the foot soldiers that just drove me up the wall. And Roadkill Rodney, I did get it right, good. I was glad. Because I would have looked really stupid if I hadn't gotten that name right. And the Pizza Monster! Which looks like a very sick alien. And Mousers! Stupid Mousers biting me on the hand. Hate you guys. And these things, I hate these things. Raw Robot Walker. I'm glad I don't have to see any more of you guys anymore. And of course, the Rock Soldiers. Stone Warrior. Stone Warrior. Warrior. I didn't know Warrior was spelled with an O. Well, actually, yeah, it is spelled with an O, but I didn't know it was. You know what I mean. It was back to Stockman, just punched poor Mikey in the gut, and. Metalhead just punched Donnie in the face. And here comes Rat King. And Toka and Razor from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. Awesome movie. And Slash, probably my favorite turtle of the series, believe it or not. What can I say? I like the bad guys, and he was crazy. Bebop and Rocksteady! Dumb. Leatherhead, another one of my favorite characters. Of course, Krang, Super Krang, raw. Now, why he didn't just grow to super size when we were fighting him as a boss, I don't understand. But you know what? Uh, whatever. Of course, the Shredder, and this he's gonna demonstrate exactly what I was talking about—the green attack. You see, you turn into a little baby, and it's instant death. Not a good way to go. Oh. We're back at home and it's winter. Congratulations, you have completed your tra training. What are you talking about training? Now we're turning. Wait a minute, this whole thing was a training exercise? You mean to tell me that we went through all of that for training? Dude, that's just. That's messed. Alright, that's actually a pretty bad time for me. Usually I can get this in under 25 minutes. Um, but again, I was taking time to explain things to you guys, so... It's not a speedrun. I might do a speedrun of this and post it online without commentary, but... Eh, we'll see. Anyway, this has been Let's Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time. I hope you had fun. I sure did. And I will see you for my next LP. See you guys later.